Here's a quick overview of the track types within Mixcraft 6. First we have the video track. I'll click Track, Insert Video Track, and now I can import and edit video or still images. I'll right click and add a video clip. Notice that if the video contains any audio, Mixcraft will automatically create a corresponding audio track for it. I can also right click and add still images, which I can crossfade with video or other still images. Next we have the virtual instrument track type for recording or importing MIDI data, which can trigger notes or commands within virtual instruments. I'll click track, insert virtual instrument track. You can record your virtual instrument here with your external MIDI device, or you can click view, musical typing, and use your computer's keyboard to play virtual instruments. You can also right click and choose add instrument clip to add a blank instrument clip and use your mouse to add or edit MIDI data. You can change the virtual instrument on the track by clicking the change instrument button. Choose any of the instruments that come with Mixcraft or choose your favorite third party virtual instrument. Moving on to the audio track type. Here we can record audio from external or internal sources such as audio interfaces, your sound cards line in, or stereo mix if available. You can also right click, add sound file, choose a supported file type, and import that for use. Lastly, you can use Mixcraft's library and simply drag sounds onto the interface into an audio track. Next we'll go with Send Tracks. Click the track button, add Send Track. These tracks can be used to share effects between multiple other tracks. This will help alleviate the stress on your computer by reducing the instances of a single effect you might use. Send Tracks are also useful for automating effect parameters for multiple tracks at once. Moving along to Submix Tracks, I'm going to click Track, Add Submix Track. These track types help you organize other track types in a submix before the master effects and volumes are applied. Submix tracks are great for cleaning up your project if you've got lots of tracks showing that you may not be working on at the moment, and submix tracks are also great for applying a single effect to multiple subtracks. Output Bus Tracks. Click Track, Add Output Bus Track. These tracks can be assigned to send audio to a single audio device. For example, I can assign this output track to my headphones left channel only. And if I add another, I can assign that to the right. Now I can assign these other track types to specific output buses and control where the audio is played back. These track types are extremely useful in studio environments where you need to send different tracks to multiple outputs, such as a monitor mix. For a rewire track, click Mix, Add Rewire Application. Choose a rewire-capable application that is already installed on your computer to control it through Mixcraft's interface. Finally, we have the ability to show the master track in Mixcraft's main window. Click Show Master Track. With the master track, you can add effects, raise or lower volume for the entire mix, automate the volume envelope for smooth fade-ins and fade-outs, and automate effects parameters for the entire mix. Note that audio tracks, virtual tracks, send tracks, submix tracks, Output Tracks and the Master Track are all available within Mixcraft's Mixer tab. Each track type also has a three-band parametric equalizer included here. This has been a quick overview of the track types within Mixcraft 6. Thanks for watching.